In this video we show you how to get from JFK Airport to Midtown Manhattan in New York. Now the quickest way is to get the air train to Jamaica Station and then get the Long Island Railroad or LIRR into Grand Central Station. But how easy is it? Let's see how we get on. Hello and welcome back to the channel. So we are currently at JFK Airport waiting for our suitcase. What we thought we'd do is we'd do a video on how easy it is to get from JFK to Manhattan. Pick you let's, up once we've got our case. Anyway. And let's open this case. Oh, let's go this case. So quick update. It has taken us probably about 15 minutes to get through security. Once we got through security, we had a quick chat with you guys, and then Claire's just managed to grab her case pretty much straight yeah, away. Got my case, yeah. Um, so yeah, so far so good. Let's try and find Manhattan. Okay, so you can do this journey using taxis. However, it's a lot more expensive. So we're going to do it solely with public transport. First thing we need to do is grab the air train. So, air train, upstairs. Left. So we're still heading to the air train. Um, just to let you know, we got off at Terminal 8 was where our flight landed. Eight terminals, that's insane. Heathrow's only got five and one don't exist anymore. Wowza. Okay, so first thing we've got to do is get the air train to Jamaica. Now a tip that someone gave us was to get a 10 trip ticket because it's £8.50 each. Now bearing in mind there's two of us, so that would be £17 uh, to get there and it'll be another 17 when we come home, so that's 34 quid. But if we do a 26.50 for 10 trips, we can both use the same card. So yeah, make sure you get a multi-trip pass if there's more than one of you. Gotta wait for the next one. So just double check where they're going to because not all of them go to Jamaica. One thing I didn't tell you a minute ago is that you actually pay for your air train when you get off. So there should be some machines at the other end. So that's when we'll get the 10 trip pass card. Subway fee. That's what we want. One thing to note is when you get a new card, you have to pay $1 for the actual card. So I think it's $26.50 plus $1. So we want the 10 trip. We're going to pay by credit card. I'm going to put my finger across the credit card now. Remove it, remove it. Yeah, new card fee £1. So you've paid 27 for Yeah, yeah. You know what happens. You now have 10 air train chip. Yeah. Take your metro card. Oh, there. <laughs> So there we go, one metro card with 10 trips on it. So you see those barriers over there? I'll use it through, then Claire will use it, and then we'll have eight trips left, which we can use two when we come back on Friday. Sure. Perfect. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so once you're at Jamaica, you've got two options. You can either go on the subway, but people have told us that it actually takes longer, or, and get the Long Island Railroad and that goes straight into either Peng Station or Grand Central and we wanted to have a browse of Grand Central anyway didn't we? If you want to go to Grand Central you have to get a Penn ticket so that's the ticket for Penn. Now we want off peak we want two adults so it comes to 16.50 then we want credit card Just to explain as well, we've paid for Penn Station, but the ladies just clarified. It's a little bit like the underground, you pay for certain zones. So Grand Central is in the Penn Zone. So we're not getting the Penn Train, we're getting the Grand Central Train, but we've paid for Penn. So hopefully that's made sense. I get it, 
should be good. And the trains come in in roughly nine minutes. So we're not actually getting on this one, we're getting on the next one. But just one thing to note, so you probably do want to check the times on the app, because unlike the UK, where it tells you the next train and the train after on the board, this will only tell you the next train on the board. So for example, it doesn't scroll to our train until this one's left. Okay, so that's the next one that's come up on the information board. So Grand Central. Are you ready to go to the New York? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's like, Kaya's just getting a bit excited because there's police behind her. This door, this door, this door. Yeah. Have to push the button. So we're on the train, Claire reckons it goes to Woodside first and then Grand Central, so we shall see, but we better keep an eye out, make sure we don't miss it. Says what? Once you get to Grand Central, follow the signs to the main concourse. It's well worth going there. Hopefully you'll do better in the lift than we did. The elevator. That's what they call it. Concourse? Yeah. yeah. You'll be well there by the time you got your phone out. I know what you're like. I'm getting it for the vlog first. Okay. I'm probably going to walk straight through. So. It's quite a long way down, isn't it? Yeah, I thought it was going up. No, I mean, we were a long way down, do you know what I mean? Uh, hello? Oh, shit. And we're stuck in your layer. Oh, this ain't even funny. What? No, you go back down. That's what. Oh. No. Okay, what's happening? Oh, you just push open the doors. Possibly. We're back where we started? I think so. No, see, central, was it? Maybe? No, no we're, we're back, back where we started, so go up a level. <laughs> this is where you are, so you need up a level. You sure? That's what I pressed before. L-I-R-R-Pontos. Okay. Touch me, have to open the door when it gets there. Weird. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, I'd say it's yeah probably. Not. Yeah, I think so. Well now press it.
So that is brilliant. Here we find ourselves at Grand Central Station. And it's very grand. So we managed it. We got from New York JFK Airport to Grand Central, right in the middle of Manhattan, yep. all by our very selves. Yes. <laughs> Claire's got three tips for you. What are they? So when leaving the airport, get the air train and get the 10 trip card. So then you can use it multiple times and it will save a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, tip number two, don't bother with the MTA app. We did try to do it on the app, on the app, but you need to put a zip code in and everything. It's a bit confusing. So just go to the ticket machine to the LIRR and get a one-way ticket. Absolutely fine. Just on now, I'll interject. The guy on the train takes the ticket off of you when he checks it. So don't be expecting to get it back because there's no barriers when you get to Grand Central. And the final tip on how to get to uh, so the good part. So to get to the Grand Central Station, not like the main area, follow the signs for Main Concourse. Now it is a bit of a walk, and it is yeah, it's a bit of a walk, but keep following. It's worth it. It is definitely worth it. Watch this. Central Terminal. Thank you for your cooperation. Well, we're off to explore, so for now, Doolittle's done.